so I'm just going to sit on a dock of a bay. Life imitating art on the water. This is uh, the Yankee Tank River. Other than the studio, this is Bill Bevan's favorite spot on the dial. This is it. This is what you work hard for. His Middlesex County home, the perfect place to reflect on a love affair that began 50 years ago. This is one of the better tunes I've ever played. <laughs> the Meadowbrook High School graduate felt the groove from the very beginning. The skinny one on the end is me. Um, the band was called The Uprisers. We started as The Shades. Valentine's Day, 1970. Bill embarks on his illustrious career in broadcasting. Oh, I love it. I love it every minute. And hasn't stopped. Love it with a passion. Still do. The disc jockey's first stint on the airwaves, Crew Virginia. He was 20. WSVS 800 on your AM dial, 104.7 FM, Southside's Voice of Service. I remember the first song I played, uh, Love Grows. Dick Clark, Bill says he was not. I was terrible at it. I mean, just terrible, really bad. Well, I had a chance to kind of grow into it. Bevan says he certainly wasn't rolling in radio cash. I was bringing home um, $84 and change a week. Big bucks. Call letters from his old stations read like alphabet soup. WHAP, Happy Radio, Hope Well. WRNL, WRXL, Richmond's Rock. EC 104, B103, and then Light 98. The 70 year old has rubbed shoulders with superstars along the way. I MC the show for Ray Charles twice, Elton John, Aretha Franklin, everybody. In the mid-80s, Bill was a familiar face on WTVR where he delivered the weather forecast. It's just like everything else. Seems like yesterday, a lot of it. On radio, Bill spun everything from disco and standards to top 40 and easy listening. We called this the homegrown morning show because all of us were from Richmond. We had a lot of fun. Bill's most cherished part of the job, his listeners. And the thing I miss about radio so much is that bond you have with people. They become family. That's Henry St. James along with John Conley. Bevan's return to the CBS 6 studios on Broad Street. Virginia this morning. This is our very first morning with you. He's been co-hosting Virginia this morning since 2006. Bill, how long do you want to do this for, this whole broadcasting gig? I remember 20 years ago, maybe longer than that, a reporter came and did a story on Steve Leonard and Garrett Chester and I when we were doing our show. And the guy asked me, where do you see yourself in 10 years? I went, right here. <laughs> I'm, this is it for me. This is what I want to do. Off air, Bill returns to his happy place to tune out. Sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the tide roll away. But even after 50 years in broadcasting, Bill Bevins, is already planning his next show. You know what would be fantastic? If I could do a broadcast from right here. Set me a microphone up. <laughs> In Middlesex County. Give me some tunes. I'll do the show from here until they make me stop. I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News. <laughs>